Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's sports. The long anticipated return of Percy Harvin is over as a speedy wide receiver and punt returner extraordinaire has been added to the Seahawks 53 man roster. Monday's move was expected as Seattle had to add Harvin to the active roster or he would have to remain on the physically unable to perform list the remainder of the season. Coach Pete Carroll said Harvin is expected to practice this week, meaning his Seahawks debut could come Sunday against Minnesota. If he's not ready, Harvin could be inactive on game day and his deb debut could come after Seahawks bye week when Seattle hosts New Orleans December the 2nd. The Hawks released defensive tackle Michael Brooks to clear a roster spot for Harvin. After two lackluster performances, the Seahawks gave a resounding argument why they are the best team in the National Football Conference at 9-1. Their 33-10 route of Atlanta on Sunday featured a dynamic offense led by Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch and an improved defensive effort after two weeks of struggling to stop the run. Seattle put together its most complete game of the season minus five expected starters who could all be back this week against Minnesota. The only troubling news to come out of the blowout over Atlanta was a groin injury suffered by cornerback Brandon Browner. Gary Bell Jr. scored all of his 24 points on three pointers and number 15 Gonzaga routed Colorado State 93-61 on Monday night. Gerard Coleman added 16 points, and Kevin Pangos had 13 for the Zags, who shot 58% from the field. Bell finished 8 of 13 from three-point range. Steve Sarkeesian would readily remind you that Washington does not look past any teams on its schedule. Once the Huskies finished dismantling Colorado on Saturday night, though, it was quickly on to the next one for Washington's head coach. The turnaround will be ever so important this week for Washington when the Huskies match up at number 13 UCLA Friday. Now, there are several local teams participating in state tournaments this weekend. The Moses Lake Chiefs travel to Pasco to take on Chihuahua at Edgar Brown Stadium in the opening round of the WIAA State Football Championship Saturday. The game is scheduled for a 1 p.m. start. The Euphrata Tigers have a tough first round draw as they travel to West Valley in Spokane to take on the Eagles in a loser out 2A state soccer match at 2 p.m. And finally, Moses Lake Christian Academy matches up with Mount Vernon Christian in a 1B first round state volleyball game in the Sun Dome at Yakima at 8 a.m. Friday. The Almira Cooley Heartline Warriors face Sunnyside Christian in a first round 1B match that gets underway at 8 as well. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.